In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can zoom image on hover using HTML and CSS. For it, let's go back to our code. And here you can see we have a image tag here. So for this image tag, we're going to mention a class. Let's say the class name will be my underscore IMG. Then we'll go inside the head section. And in the head section, we're going to say here style. And first of all, we're going to write some CSS for this class, my underscore IMG. So for the class, we need to give a dot. Then we need to mention the class name. First of all, we're going to say here display, it will be block. Then we'll say here margin, it will be auto. So this will make our image in the center. After that, we're going to mention the image width. Uh, let's say width, it will be 500 pixel. If we now save it, then if we now refresh here, there you can see our image is in the center. So right now, what we want is that when we uh, over our cursor on the image, we want the image to be zoom in. For it, what we need to do is that we again need to mention this my underscore ing class then we need to give a clone we need to say here hover then to second bracket and on hover let's say we want the image size to be increased by 1.5 times for it we are going to say transform it will be scale 1.5 if we now save this then refresh here. Then if we take our cursor on the image, there you can see the image is bigger right now. Image got bigger. Let me just add a few more CSS and that is, let's say here, transition, it will be all, uh, let's say it will take two seconds for the image to transform. If we now say, then refresh, then if we take our cursor on the image, there you can see it increase slowly right now. Let me add, uh, two more CSS here, that is cursor, it will be pointer and let's say here margin top it will be 300 pixel let me save it then refresh here if I take my cursor on the image there you can see the cursor become hand sign this time and the image now increasing or zooming slowly so this is how you can add zoom effect on hover in HTML. I hope this was easy for you. If you have any question or suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.